So today we're going to be taking a look over at indie VTuber Sayu, or as many people may know them as, Zion Lanza from Niji Sanji English, who was terminated. We all know how that termination went. It was a laundry list of reasons that Niji Sanji gave as why they had to fire and let Zion Lanza go. Now we also covered on the channel Zion Lanza's story and her combating some of those issues that Niji Sanji laid out. Some of it saying I did do that, some of them saying that she did not do it. She was very open about a lot of things, and if you want to read that i will leave it linked down below for you to do so but the reason we're looking at sayu is because she went trending due to this tweet here that you're going to need some more context for before we do read it basically sayu vaguely tweeted out about xla's anniversary xla being the group that zion lanza was a part of before being terminated she tweeted about it and received a lot of responses from a lot of nichi sanji fans very upset with her telling her to let go telling her to move on and telling her to stop bothering xla this then led to sayu tweeting out honestly sometimes it really does feel like I shouldn't be here anymore. I know being overly honest isn't something that goes well on the internet, but I do care. I believe that talking and understanding each other matters the most. And I wish I could talk to those who hate me also and try to understand each other. I don't mind if you hate me for something I did. Isn't it more satisfying to hate me for something I do slash did, not for something you assume to be true? And this received a lot of responses from Nietzsche fans and a lot of people saying things along their lines of, girl, you made essay jokes and shit on your ex gen mates for quote, backstabbing you. What do you mean try to understand each other what is there to understand so yeah a lot of people started calling out sayu for the things that she said as zion lanza and also the things she has said about her ex gen mate quote unquote backstabbing her and a lot of other things that she said on streams stuff that we have covered on this channel and also the whole document it was a whole back and forth with a lot of nichi sanji fans just attacking sayu and bombarding her with a ton of tweets and then that brings us over to today's tweet that being hey everyone i'm Rachit, sayu's manager we've had some discussion and both agreed it would be best for her to step back from Twitter for a while. As someone who has been both a co-worker and friend of Sayu for two years now, I care about her deeply and see how this is affecting her. For the time being, I'll be posting her going live posts and schedules along with passing along other messages for her. Please know she holds her community members close to her heart and is stepping away from her well-being until she feels she can return. We want to have a fresh start in the new year and a clear head definitely helps. All kind words will be passed along. Thank you to those who are supporting my girl. She'll still be around in Discord and her planned streams are still a go. So Sayu and her manager have decided that it is best for Sayu to take a break from Twitter where all of this is going on. However, this tweet received a lot of backlash from people saying this MF can't deal with the shit she does on the internet and then cries they are hating on me. Yeah, take a break from Twitter and never come back while you're at it. Learn how to deal with the consequences of your actions and your dramatic ass. Another tweet said, girl, the best decision is move on. You are the one who makes the problem and now you take the consequences. Move on, they already moved on, and you should too. Don't act like you never do all the shit you have done in the past. Move on and do your own thing. Another person speaking to the manager said to please tell her to move on already. She had it coming. Someone else said, all right, manager, please tell her to let go of what happened because it is making her miserable and she is letting it take her down when she should be focusing on where she is now. Also, good on her for leaving Twitter for a while. It was needed a long time ago. Yet another person saying, tell her don't be delusional and move on, love. Someone else said, I'll just say it. Need Nietzsche fans really do show what they're best at, not ignoring pointless discussions and doing everything in their power to bring someone down. Whether they deserve it or not, you represent your Oshis terribly with this middle school behavior shit. They continued, I defended her when the crazies and Niji overreacted, yet she disappointed me with her immaturity. But at this point, just leave them alone, bro. Let her say whatever she wants, who cares? What happened, happened. She made the wrong choice, move on. I don't understand the point of you guys giving so much attention to someone who willingly chose to lose everything. Like legit, their words at this point don't matter. Leave them alone and hope that they can eventually grow as a person, be charitable, and let someone grow. This is the type of toxicity that shows how ugly the Niji fandom is. Like I swear this chick has no real influence anymore. You're just bullying a sad, unstable, immature person who doesn't even have a big following anymore. And then there were some replies to Sayo's tweet saying it does feel like she was scrolling Twitter only to get more depressed at shit she shouldn't even be focusing about. Much love to her. Someone else said, Sayo, you're mental health is the most important thing. Please make yourself comfortable and I will continue to support you. Thanks, Rachel, for doing this post. Someone else said, that's honestly okay, Sayu. Take a break. You deserve it. I love you and want you in your best condition at all times. So take it easy and keep pushing. We will always be here. That's a promise. Another one says, honestly, that's perfectly understandable with how difficult it can be to deal with people, even in just text form. Also, if it helps her enjoy the holidays with family and friends, then even better. So take care, relax, and enjoy the holiday. Another says, 
because as much as I don't like some of the things she said, I think this is for the best. She really needs to focus on her mental health, and I think that stepping away from social media is a great first step in that process. She really needs to move on from the past and look forward. So yeah, this has really just turned into a back and forth from Niji fans and Niji haters, people supporting Sayu, and people that are fans of Niji Sanji, but also support Sayu. People going back and forth with each other, people hating on Sayu, people hating on each other. It's just a big back and forth, when in reality, I think people should just leave it alone and drop it. I definitely think Sayo needs to move on, and I also think a lot of Niji fans need to move on as well and just ignore it. Everyone just needs to ignore this situation, but that's my thoughts on it. Please let me know what you all think about it down below. As in other news, I want to take a look over at VTuber LXOX, who tweeted out, I will be on indefinite hiatus on all of my content. Yes, even my spicy stuff. I have been banned indefinitely on Twitch. I am really struggling on words to say, but what I do know is that Twitch is my favorite platform to stream on. I have met many wonderful VTuber friends and viewers there. I am feeling really discouraged and heartbroken at the moment. I may be back next week or several months from now. I am unsure of how long. I am needing time to sort things out and for me to get back on my feet. I will keep you all updated if my appeal for the ban has gone through or not. If you want to, feel free to tweet free LXOX. And now that hashtag actually ended up going trending on Twitter because a lot of people started quote retweeting this because LXOX didn't deserve to be banned. The ban reason was for quote, inappropriate attire on stream. Now the reason many people don't believe LXOX deserve to be banned is because there are so many people on Twitch right now that are just showing booba on stream. There are so many lewd streams on Twitch, there's been a trend going on, and people have been complaining non-stop. I can't really show any of that on YouTube, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Now, Twitch has actually addressed the situation saying, we've gotten feedback that our policies around sexual content are unclear, so we've drawn clear boundaries between what is and isn't permitted on Twitch. We also recognize that not everyone wants to see certain content, so we're updating our criteria for homepage recommendations. Now, if we take a look over at their announcement, it says we have received consistent feedback from streamers that our current policies around sexual content are confusing and that it can be difficult to know how their content will be interpreted based on these policies. We want streamers to feel confident they understand our rules and viewers to feel confident they will get the experience they expect. To accomplish this, we are making two changes effective today. Streamlining our policies regarding sexual content and updating the criteria used for homepage recommendations. To be effective, policies need to be easy to understand so that a streamer knows what what is allowed on the site and what is not allowed. Part of the confusion comes from the fact that there are currently two separate policies in the community guidelines that address sexual content. There is also an additional section in the content classification guidelines that describes when a streamer needs to label their content as sexual themes. Going forward, the sexually suggested content and sexually explicit content policies will be consolidated into a single sexual content policy within the community guidelines. This policy specifies the types of sexual content that are prohibited on Twitch and violating this policy will result in account enforcement. And then they went on to say things that will not be shown on homepage, that being drugs, intoxication, excessive tobacco use, violent and graphic depictions, gambling, and or sexual themes. Those will no longer be included on the homepage recommendations. Meaning you can do those types of streams, you just won't be shown on the home screen. And they basically made a lot of changes to their sexual content, this one being previously prohibited but now allowed with a label. Content that deliberately highlighted breast, but or pelvic region even when fully clothed. Streamers found it difficult to determine what was prohibited and what was allowed and often evaluating whether or not a stream violated this portion of the policy was subjective. In addition, the former sexually suggestive content policy was out of line with industry standards and resulted in female presenting streamers being disproportionately penalized. Fictionalized, drawn, animated, or sculpted fully exposed female presenting breast and or genitals or buttocks regardless of gender. There is a thriving artist community on Twitter and this policy was overly punitive and did not reflect the impact of the content. They also made some changes to popular dances and a whole lot of other changes that if you want to check it out, I will leave this down in the description for you to do so. But yeah, basically Twitch, instead of reprimanding any of these streamers or banning anyone, has decided to allow more sexual content as long as you put the correct labels. So again, if you want to read their full post about it, I will leave it linked in the description for you to do so. But that now brings us back to LXOX, who people are now saying should be unbanned immediately following this new Twitch guidelines. And well, do I have some news for you guys? Uh, they have been unbanned. LXOX said, guess who got unbanned? Thank you everyone for your guys' support and love. It really means a lot to see so many people who care about me. Please refollow me. I was at 84k followers before. For anyone who was subbed, it does not renew. You would have to resub for the occurring subscription. Not gonna lie, I am terrified 
terrified to stream on Twitch again. Next Twitch stream will happen when I feel more comfortable. So they went from 84,000 followers on Twitch to 17.1 thousand due to being banned, which is really weird. I don't know why that would happen, but if you were subbed to them or following them, go refollow and check them out. But that's all for me today, guys. Please let me know what you all think about everything we talked about down below and have yourself a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you all later tonight on Twitch and YouTube where I'm going to be talking more about this video. For now though, bye bye.